Okay, welcome to the Nintendo Switch UK hands-on premiere. We're here right now with a Rex, who is a YouTuber, I believe. I am indeed. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. Uh, so you've had a chance to look around the event. What stood out to you today? First things first, you walk in, I actually get to see the Nintendo Switch. I mean, like, I've seen pictures, but to actually see it in front of me is... It's a really good sight. It's one of those things where the screen is big enough to like really enjoy, you know, even some of the things like Zelda and stuff like that, but it's not so big that it feels like kind of lugging around a massive, massive tablet. So I think it's a, it's a really, really nice size, especially if you, if you want to kind of disconnect these as well. So if we're looking at Legend of Zelda, how do you feel about taking that on the move? So good, like honestly, that is a favorite franchise of all time. So just being able to like, especially, you know, if I need to go somewhere or something, you typically have to, you always have to stop at the wrong time, right? You'll be in the middle of a dungeon, you'll be like, do I have to go now? So now, pick it up and take it with me. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's gonna be brilliant. So in the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, you actually have a hundred shrines that you can explore. That's gonna be good on a train journey. Right? Exactly, yeah. They're, they're the sort of things that you would save for the journey, right? Like you do like your big kind of main story pieces at home and then, yeah, you take it on the go and that'll be really good. And how do you feel about the, the setting and the premise and the open world nature of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? I think it's what the, the, the franchise has always needed. I mean, it's just, the world in Zelda is incredible anyway. So, so to be able to have that freedom to explore, I mean, we've, we've seen, Kind of snippets of that in the past you know or kind of like te you know attempts to try and be you know relatively open but this is just you know truly you can kind of go the way you want go you know play the game in the order you want to and it's just yeah i think i think it just it just suits the franchise were you one of the millions of people who got up bright and early to watch the presentation i was yep up at three in the morning three thirty and what was your standout moment from that presentation would you say one of them has definitely got to be super mario odyssey i mean that game was just like it's the game it's the mario game that like a lot of fans have been waiting for for a long time we've had some incredible mario games you know up until now but since 64 Sunshine, Galaxy and Galaxy 2. People have been waiting for the, the proper kind of next 3D open world like adventure version of Mario. And I mean, this is, this is it. I just, it, looks, it looks so awesome. You've got, you know, you've got new abilities, of course you've got the, the hat. I saw, I saw some mounts in there, like Mario riding on a, what looked like a, a lion sort of yeah, thing. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's definitely one of the sort of standout ones. It's really interesting to sort of see Mario in a city. Uh, yeah, that was kind of a, a very sort of like different thing that I never, you know, never thought I'd see. Okay, well, thank you very much, Rex, for coming in to see us today. Um, I think you better get off and play some games. Uh, yeah, let's do it.